Well, again, we're here this evening to review Larry Harrison's year as president of the Rotary Club of Nevada. We'll review Larry's life story and what led up to him becoming our president. Now, I understand that there is a leaker in the audience, someone who's provided inside information, but that investigation will take place later. Uh, let's begin with a musical preview of his history, sung by our singers known as the F.O.s, the flatulent ones. <laughs> Ronnie Sirswani, 
Baba Maharaja Jones. Swami Jones has used incense and other smokable appropriates to determine the truth. Take a bow and make your statement, Mr. Jones. Miss Einstein, I have never in my life smoked incense. Never. Uh, the other things we have, we can discuss that later if we need to. Uh, but I am not dishonest. How do you come up with dishonest? And then the other complaint I have is, God damn, Taylor is too high. But I can't read the script for God's sake. No. Thank you, panelists, for your four-way honesty test by asking leading questions. You will find the real Larry, and we can tell the other one to get out of town. Contestants, will you reveal and introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm the real Larry Harrison. I'm the real Larry Harrison. <sighs> yeah, all right. Let me introduce Tara Tartley and J. Wayne Piano Fingers, borrowed from the boxing match down the street. Ms. Tartley will introduce our rounds. Ms. Tartley, take a bow. Larry 
Friday number one. This car runs me by the clock. What happened? Friday number one? You look, you look tested. You look uncomfortable. What happened? Now, I know a lot of people who are dead who have not laid down yet. I understand. Okay, this talk runs by the clock. Beginning and ending meetings on time. Did you always start and end your meetings on time? On time, yes. I'm sure I started them on time. Um, well, you know, but those clocks sometimes are wrong. Whoever winds that clock anyway. Landing number two. The same question. Absolutely. Well, sometimes the speaker ended a little early, so I had to make up stuff to fill in time. You know, like a story about Superman. Okay. <laughs> oh, Miss Tartley, have I seen that boat? Ask your next question, Ms. Smith. Mr. Larry, number one. I hear that sometimes you sell boats at Rotary meetings, and you don't know a lot about boats. Well, I know they float on water, unless they spring a leak. Then you put your finger in the hole, and sometimes the boat comes from Sausalito. Mr. Larry, number two. Are boats expensive? Well, yes and no. Sausalito rotor boats are very expensive, but only if you think you're bidding on a gift basket. <laughs> what do you think you are anyway, Miss Tarley? Ooh, look at that sash. Superman? What else do you need to be a real Superman? And oh yeah, my wife thinks Superman is really sexy. I don't know what you've been smoking, but I want some. Well, <laughs> number two, do you believe that you are Superman? Well, I mean, Superman? Um, not really. But when I come into the house and try to get romantic with my wife, she falls down laughing. Not usually the effect I was looking for. Singing on Rotary. Ever. 
Never. <laughs> Ever? Never. 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 Okay. Ever. <laughs> well, panelists, I think we have really gotten to the bottom of this question. Will a real Larry Harrison please stand forward? Tell the truth. Wow. No, I I no, I am no I'm the I'm the real Larry. I'm the real Larry Harrison. I'll take the fifth. The fifth? I'll take the fifth. Oh, oh, oh Jack 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 Well, I guess we'll never get to the truth. So stay tuned, and next year we'll interview Frank Bruno and find out if he always tells the truth. So to sum it up, this Einstein, Larry was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, right here in the good old USA. <laughs> Find the main note, okay. Born in St. Louis town. this from the FOs, the flatulent ones. system for your car? Yes, I want a great one for my new Maserati. Fantastic. I got the perfect sound system for you. It's mobile, it's flexible, simple to operate, compact. It's black, looks really, really fine with your red Maserati. That sounds interesting. Does it take long to install? No, we can install it in no time. Can I see what it looks like? Sure, I'll have one of our models bring it out. Oh, Glenda! Miss Lovelace, please bring out the model. You know the number one, the 45D, the 35W, and the 38. I love you. Where are you? Me, 
Perhaps Larry's forte was with horses rather than car sound systems. I think he, yeah. <laughs> Let's hear uh, if the FOs can shed some light on this.
still fueling the flame. <laughs> you know, so please behave like it. Um, you, please put your bags under your seat and fasten your seat belts. It is going to be a very bumpy ride. I was waiting for the captain. I thought he might come out here. Where is my captain when I need him? Not yet. Not yet. I don't have my script. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you look very familiar. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I have this great job in Manhattan. And I fly home every weekend to see someone. You do? They Who? They must, be, they must be really special. Well, it's my husband. I fly home every week to check up on him. Is he bad? Is he a, like a bad boy? No, I wouldn't say he's particularly bad. He just needs a lot of supervision. <laughs> I understand. Oh. oh. Um, I am so sorry. I need a volunteer. I have a $10 drink voucher here. I need a volunteer for someone to give up their seat. Uh, madam? What? What? Does anyone know what she's saying? She said no. How about you, sir? What I see that there's something in your in the oven. <laughs> Three babies. Oh, my condolences. Okay, you, but you must leave. You understand that. Yeah, you, you get a drink voucher. WC. Go to WC. You have to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can go, uh, you know, you sit, sit, go to the bathroom, sit down. I will find someone else. Sir, are you a veteran? I, I am a veteran. <sighs> this makes it very, very difficult. There is one person here, sir. You behind, you, your new script. Read the script for Christian. Your newspaper is upside down. Well, the plan is upside down. <laughs> what do you want? Woman? Okay, madam, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask. I am sorry. And I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No, remember my husband. I need to be there. <sighs> yes, yes, you do. Sir, that leaves you. Let me see. Okay, 
Stewardess? You, 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 I'm a flight attendant. Okay, whatever you call yourself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think I'm getting off this plane. Somebody is getting off well, this plane. Why don't you get off the plane? I can't because there has to be a number of flight attendants for every door. And stewardess too. That was a long, long time ago. Call oh, security. Call security. Where is security when I need them? Because one, one <laughs> I'll spot the criminal. Wait a minute. You look like a DA. Oh my God. Let's go. Come on. Where did come we on. Go? Come on. Where did we go to Mary America? He looks bad. Oh. I'm Never. sorry. I'm sorry. You're going. You are sorry also, yes. Wait. A policeman, I can tell. Another case solved. Yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that flight ever arrived. I don't think it ever left. Now, F.O. told us that he used to own a children's shoe store. Right, right here in Nevada, right downtown Nevada. And he sold children's shoes and also Birkenstocks, I believe. And what we should do now, we should take a look at the average day activities in Larry's Children's Shoe Store. I think they're building the shoe store right now. <laughs> shown you several different pairs of shoes, and you haven't liked any of them. Oh, I like the second pair a little bit. Maybe it was the third pair. Mm, I just don't like this pair. They're too cheap. Make up your mind. I need to go get a shot of bourbon. <laughs> Mama? Here, Mr. Harrison, my daughter has very particular and exquisite taste, and she show and she knows what she wants. I've shown you Mary Janes. I've shown you sandals. I've shown you Nikes. I've shown you Reeboks. I've shown you Adidas. I've shown you slippers and dress shoes. I've got one pair of shoes to show you. If you don't like them, you can kick my Buster Brown. He's being mean to me. <laughs> well, we don't have to take that. Come, we're going to Nordstrom's. <laughs> Good riddance. announcement for you ladies and gentlemen. You may still be wondering how Larry was chosen to be the Rotary president. This is how it went down. What are we going to do? Uh, you know, Tommy, we really got to get something to move this club along. You mean uh, like a laxity? 
laxative? No, no, no laxative. I'm talking about somebody, you know, like a superhero. Oh. Oh 
And I'd like to give him another big round of applause, please. Okay. Now it's time for my speech, and I'm not going to keep you from your bedtime because I'm dead tired right now. Uh, I'm excited, and I'm also nervous to take over as president of our club. Larry, the fabulous one, as he is called, has done a terrific job. And, uh, and even though I'm taller and bigger than he is, I don't think I can fill his shoes. But I'll try. Thank you, Larry, for being there for me and our club. Your mentorship has been important to me. We are all blessed to have you and Chris in our club lives. And thank you very much. Thank you. I want to let you know that I'm probably going to be missing a lot of meetings, and so you're going to be taking over. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'll show it another time. Okay. Um, I can't wait till we get to our new clubhouse. Get out. Frank, we can move this other screen over. Yeah. Sound. This is a good part, so stay in there. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait, hey, Jim, will you have sound with that? The sound's over there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll keep going while they're getting this done. Uh, now, wardrobe now. Sample, and if they can get this rolling, it, it's, it's going to tell a little bit about 
Slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Here's Johnny. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. is going deadly silent cinderella story out of nowhere a former greenskeeper now about to become the masters champion <clears throat> it looks like i'm a wreck it's in the hole it's in the hole hey young he fellow i was hoping to squeeze in nine holes before this rain starts of all the gin joints and all the towns in all the world she walks into mine. A boy's best friend is his mother. No budgets? We don't need no budgets. I don't have to show you any stinking budgets. And I am confident in the capabilities of my new crew, who are seasoned professionals, intently serious about their mission. The best assembled crew in the entire Starfleet Command. I am proud to serve with them. Mr. Spock has picked up an unusual energy force emanating from the planet. A pattern I've never seen before. All attempts to contact the planet have been unsuccessful. Please acknowledge signal. What do you make of it, Spock? There are two possibilities. They're unable to respond. They're unwilling to respond. Captain, I'm picking up a Klingon whistle. Oh. Obi-Wan, may the force be with you. Stay tuned, fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be an exciting year. There's no lunch though, it's a Friday. My performance starts July 14th. Thank you all for coming and have a great evening. Yeah.